G'day everyone. I would like to talk about Telstra Part 2. Now, there's been um, failed NBN orders with Telstra. You know. Uh, I was reading an article yesterday uh, from the Sydney Morning Herald about a bloke from New South Wales who had some faulty technician come out from Telstra and didn't put a simple cable in right and he was on ADSL modem and um, they stuffed his NBN up and his internet was shit. Now, that's disrespect from Telstra. Shame on you, Telstra, for not providing the service you promised from the Australian government about the NBN. Shame on you for doing sending out dodgy technicians. And shame on you for not caring about your customers. Now, this poor bloke has to rely on his internet. <coughs> get work and here you get you Telstra what you do is evil it's discrimination it's racism what you've done to your customers is just like a I can't believe it this poor bloke had to get the police to negotiate his NBN order Physically, the store called security and had to ask him to leave and he refused to leave and good on him for standing up for himself. And then what, what does Telstra do? Calls the police and guess what? The police had to help him with his NBN order and negotiate. Now, you freaking telecom companies, especially you Telstra, that slack to have to get the police to help with an NBN order. Now what the hell? Come on! Alright? That's not fair. You failed as a telecom company and yet there are thousands of us in New South Wales who have to rely on the stupid service because we can't get another service. Now, if I had the choice between Optus and Telstra, I'm moving to Optus. Because you're that lazy, you're that slack, and this poor fella is still having problems with his NBN, and they want to suspend him. I spoke to this guy on Twitter, and I said, good on him for standing up for himself. Good on him for standing up for other customers after to rely on you bastards. You know? I'm not afraid of you. You say, oh, that everyone's going NBN ready yet. Well, why am I still on ADSL too? Huh? Huh? Yet you want to go on sending out dodgy technicians who, you know, can't even put a freaking cable in properly because, oh, you didn't provide a, a, a cable just to put into the phone. Like, what the hell? Like, what? <laughs> I don't understand it. I, I don't understand. A simple cable to put it into the phone and you can't provide it. Like, are you mentally up there? Is there something wrong with you? Whoever's the CEO of this com company, I'm calling you out. And I'll tell you up front your telecom company sucks. I want. Everyone in New South Wales, all across Australia, who's experiencing the exact same problems with Telstra as I am, to go and make a YouTube video and put a complaint. I refuse to speak to customer service because they're, they're idiots. They don't know what they're doing. Alright? I'm telling you up for them. They don't know how the internet works. They don't know. They don't care. Now, I'm standing up for myself and not the Telstra customers who have to use the service. Now, <sighs> t 
to hold off an order for four months on an NBN order, like, are you... Shame. Just shame on you. I can't believe it. What you've done is horrible. Alright? Alright, I'll leave it there. See you all later.